Hello everyone and welcome back to Zoo Crafting! I am Zookeeper Siri and we are here at my home here in Zudesia Zoo getting ready to go through the rest of my mail for another mail day! Because it has been a very long time since I have properly gone through my mail over there. It is stacking up all over the place! I think I still have messages from Santa for crying out loud! I mean that makes sense since we just cleaned up our Christmas uh, decorations from the front yard yesterday but still, but still. But yes, welcome back everyone! So as you guys probably know from yesterday I had a little um a little ramble about uh, finding the heart within zoo crafting and it truly whatever it is whatever that means Tate my dear I'm just going to pursue looking for what gave me joy in the first place and just following my heart Lily this place it was amazing to see how many of you said zoo crafting really is your home away from home too and that made me realize a couple things one that yes i definitely want to do something pretty amazingly awesome with our zoo because doesn't it always feel fantastic when you can look over your home and you can be like wow look at that look at the things we made look at the things we built look at how we've improved our home like that's a really cool feeling but it also made me realize that it's okay to take some time just to roam around and collect up uh, all the chestnuts oh and the apples we need to collect apples because i want to make apple juice for our friends and also that if i really want to feel at home to feel at home you kind of have to be home and so i do think i'm going to try to have a lot more episodes of zoo crafting and slowly but surely at least when we're not doing our special seasonal events like the summer in space that is coming up um have daily zoo crafting again because we're kind of different guys we're not like a lot of the other adventures that you might find out there in the wide wide world web where you'll be focused on like one certain task or one certain arch or one certain goal with the series uh, the whole point I mean if you're gonna have a goal with the series and this is Siri like I'm Siri hi then it's just to follow our heart have adventures and make fantastic memories and also hide in lots of leaves so there's my little morning ramble hello chicken I really should move you properly into another spot huh Let's go ahead and grab a safari net. Look at all this cake. My friends have spoiled me with so much cake. What am I gonna eat first on that? That's just amazing. All right, come here. Come here, darling. All right, there you go, little one. I'm going to casually move this chicken back over into the chicken coop, and then we can get started with the mail sorting of the day. But yeah, so just keep an eye out for uh, daily episodes of Zoo Crafting in the future. And if y'all are here just for building, then I, I apologize so much. I humbly apologize, but that's not my that's not my jam. We're here for kind of like I said, a home away from home, a, a heart project of doing this all together. And that's how it's always been, and that's what it's going to go back to being. So enough of that ramble, at least. Let me go ahead and put that away. Hello, ah, oh, the dodos! I keep forgetting that you can move around like that now, Carlos. It's quite interesting. You wiggle and waggle those little tail feathers, my friend. And uh, there you go, little one. Don't worry, don't look so confused. This is the chicken coop. Everybody should accept you just fine here. Um, and holy moly, <gasps> there's so many eggs! What am I gonna do with all these eggs? <laughs> all right, I'm gonna collect these eggs for now. Um, I, it looks like I need to start gifting my friends some eggs again. Ooh, or maybe we should make like omelet or omelet rice. <gasps> that would be so fun and be able to share those with my friends too. But we'll worry about that later. I'm just gonna chuck them into our food sorter for now. For those of you who are not sure why all the eggs and other things like food related I'm putting into the chest are disappearing, it's hooked up to my fantastic food sorting system, Lily, where it goes into a dropper right here into a huge chain of beautiful piping and eventually down into my root cellar where all of the food is stored until we can cook with it. <gasps> and speaking of cooking, I would love to do zoo kitchen again. Huh. Chasing down the heart of the matter. Mm, this feels good. But all right, let's go and we are going to check in on our mail and we're going to see what is hiding for us over here because we have mail just piled up to our ears and I don't know because I'm leaving for Taiwan in real life in just a week from now I kind of want to make sure that we've got all of this tidied up and prepared and we're ready to kind of move on and work on other projects oh and then on that note oh we just got some dead leaves from my little hedgehog hi sweetie I'm gonna have to teach you how to how to work with other things now that it is summer or almost summer I mean technically it's spring but I'm about to go to a place where the humidity is going to make it feel like 110 some days. Fahrenheit, that is. Fahrenheit. So I was thinking, by the way, guys, we're here at home right now. 
but in real life, I'm about to leave for Taiwan. And it occurred to me, I won't see my real home for two and a half months. And I wonder if it would be a good idea to temporarily move away from this home in zoo crafting and build a summer home over in our jungle exhibits. So it wouldn't be very far away. Definitely not the other side of the world, the way it's going to be for me in real life. But I was thinking it might be really fun to build a little, like, um, oh, like a treehouse home. Uh, well, I guess that's a treehouse home, too. But you know what I mean. It would be fun to build some sort of, like, treehouse canopy home over here in the jungle exhibits and what that may do is we'll kind of focus on trying to stay primarily in this area we might still have orders shipped over from our home or just pop over there to be honest but it would be fun to take some time to work on the jungle and the safari side because when we stay home we tend to focus on like the temperate forest exhibits so what if we set up a summer home in the jungle over here and then we work our way through the jungle and we can build jungle exhibits based off of things that I see while I'm in Taiwan. Like I'm going to be going to a lot of the night markets. We're going to go on a lot of birding walks and hikes and tours. We're going to be going to uh, the gorge, this beautiful gorge that's there. We might even do a pinch of snorkeling. We're not sure about that because Chips will be very, very busy with his schooling. He's going there for work after all. So he's going to be busy all during the week. But I thought it would be fun to like recreate the food stalls and the little shops and some of the really unique animals that I see while we're in Taiwan in the jungle area. So what do you guys think about that? We haven't done too much work in the jungle area, so setting up a little house and starting from there as our home base every day may give us a chance to actually get some of this done. And it will also keep us closer to the safari zone so that we're more likely to continue work over here as well, because we have a lot of stuff to do in the safari zone too. So what do you guys think? Should I, um, should I build a summer home in the jungle area? We won't be too far away. I can still bring all the puppies and maybe even build fun little puppy places for them to play and base it off of the parks that I will be walking in in real life, I think it could be pretty fun. In, in the future, when we go to Tokyo next year, then we might move even further away and we might build like a tiny little Tokyo or something like that somewhere off in the far distance. But we have plenty of work to do in the zoo, so I thought maybe sticking a little closer for now might be a good thing. But anyway, now that that is done, let's go ahead and start checking the mail where there's more cake. There's just so much cake. I'm going to just get like so chunky off of all the cake, but at least it's delicious. It's probably a little stale by now because it's the um, holiday cake. Sorry about that, Jude. All right, we'll go ahead and help him eat it. Ah, oh, that's so yummy. And then where to start? We've got all these boxes. Somebody put up these beautiful fairy lights in front of my little mailbox. Oh, that's just so much fun. Oh, and if we move houses, I can put up a little sign. It'll be like, series mail uh, will be transferred to her home in the jungle area for the summer. Oh, and I was thinking we could build gardens. Oh, see, I was going to do mail, but now I'm so excited about our summer home. And I was thinking we could build gardens and we could specialize in the new fruits and vegetables and foods that I'm going to be eating over in Taiwan. It's all going to be vegan food, so that's going to make it super interesting. But Taiwan is actually one of the highest concentrations of vegetarians in the entire world due to the religions practiced over there. So I'm going to have tons of food to eat for once. It's going to be a miracle. I'm so excited. And I want to remake some of the little shops. Uh, you know what? I think we're going to do it, guys. Even though we just got home, I think we're going to transfer ourselves over, not too terribly far away, uh, to the jungle area and have a base over over there and we can put up a little sign saying that all mail will be transferred to that mailbox uh, though people are welcome to go over there instead all right so <sighs> rambling as usual oh what's this my gift to you oh i think that we already collected from here that's right oh wait what's this Dear fellow zoo crafter, Santa sloth has been hard at work this year making your minecraft wishes come true oh my goodness Ah, oh dear. I set up a custom photo booth area for each recording member of Zoo Crafting. Other members would be added when time allows, which features devincing sculptures that you can pose to take screenshots. Most of them act as costumes, and you can arrange them, uh, stand amongst the pieces to become the character for the picture. This is a small event and should take no more than 10 minutes uh, to look over. Simply TP to Jacob's home in the NPC system, then make your way inside the giant tree using the secret entrance. Go up the ladder, use the TP crystal in the water stream, to be taken away to the photo booth event. What? This is so cool. I can't believe I missed this because I was being too gun shy and, and too too stage frighty to get over here and actually talk with my friends. Oh my gosh. This is awesome. Enjoy and be sure to tag me in the photos so I can... What? Excuse you? Lily. 
Lily, Tate, get him. No, Lily, Tate, I'm on fire. That's not how it's supposed to work. How did a zombie just come from my home? Why did he drop a carrot? That's a rare drop. Was he a garden raiding zombie? Is this what I... <laughs> greeted with this did he come from inside my home oh my gosh what's happening here martha martha you're all grown up again you were just a baby yesterday please make up your mind you're was it cloning you that has made your age so wibbly oh my gosh tiny darling what was that about persephone persephone and tiny darling on top of the cat statue like Seriously, guys, a little bit of support when it comes to tackling these things. Oh my gosh, this is so amazing. This is what this is what being home is all about. I think that's what I've been missing too. Everybody would get so tense. It's like, Siri, how could you get distracted? Well, I have garden raiding zombies popping out of nowhere and setting me on fire. That's that's what the beauty of this place is. Oh my gosh. All right, so we have a photo booth event that I hope will still be there. Each uh, booth is themed to each person. Can you guess who each is? That's gonna be a fun event to do. So we're definitely gonna have to go do the photo event. Uh, if not today, cause I need to sort through the mail and get super excited about moving uh, to Taiwan for the summer, which means we'll move to the jungle area for the summer and set up new gardens and all sorts of little food stalls. Oh, it's gonna be really awesome, Lily. Uh, then definitely in the future. All right, let's continue to help Jude out. I don't know about this cake. I'm suspicious about this cake. What is this? What is this? Skull it's a sculpture? Wait, what? 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 It looks just like cake. What? What is this? What is this? Is there more information? Oh my gosh, holy moly. Deep breaths, why are my friends so awesome? Ah, this is what happens when you get really sad and you cry, like finally crawl out of the hole to pop up and like there's tons of amazing people all around you. Okay, photo booth event is definitely going to be amazing to do. That'll be a really fun kind of picnic day. We might make a little picnic. We'll go on a little adventure. We'll check out what's been happening over at Jacob's place. It should be awesome. And then let's see, this, I see pizza. So I think I know exactly who to blame. Eros, new chickens. Oh my goodness, wait, wait, chickens? <gasps> what? Snow chickens? Oh my gosh, hang on a second. Hey, yo, Siri, my exchange student Azuna has found a very rare breed of chicken, the snow chicken. Please give these two little chickens a good home. They drop snowballs and also eat snowballs to breed? Oh my goodness gracious. I need to do a chicken exchange with Eros. I need to do a chicken exchange with Eros by giving her some of my cookie chickens. Oh, in fact, I have cookies. I have cookies in my pocket. Here you go, guys. Here you go. Oh, dang it. I just ruined that little plot, but that's okay. Let's see if I can get the cookie chickens to have another cookie baby. Are we going to call it biscuit, I guess? Oh, there's the cookie chicken baby. Okay, we'll breed up my cookie chickens and possibly give them their own little exhibit area. You know what? We should probably move the cookie chickens to my farm. Don't you think that would be a good idea? Because, you know, farms are where you cook food and make food. So what if we moved the cookie chickens to the farm? Oh, thank you, little hedgehog. Gosh, all of these dead leaves. I'm going to have to gather them up and compost them, though. It's not time for dead leaves it's time for new summer leaves uh well almost for some people it's spring like it's 55 degrees fahrenheit here right now which is ridiculous to me i grew up in texas it should be a lot hotter than that anyway <laughs> snow chickens this is way too exciting oh i can't even handle all this and i have garden raiding zombies which is kind of amazing i want to put this carrot into uh, a little item frame in my seed shed now all right, so let's see. We're gonna have to breed up these snow chickens and we're gonna have to name them and put them inside of our icy exhibit area, our Arctic exhibits. Um, and then I'm definitely gonna have to take some cookie chickens and exchange them to Eros as well. <sighs> this is what I get for being neglectful of such amazing friendships. Just, uh, this is awesome. All right. I also found some alabaster gems around my home and turned them into some pretty lamps. Let me know if you want more. Last but not least, I brewed up some fresh peach tea for you from Eros. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. Of course I need to be here every day. This is home. Oh, all right. So we have amazing alabaster lamps. <laughs> Look at this. She even made me a chandelier. What? What? 
It looks like a rose. It looks just like a rose. I would totally use these all around our icy exhibit areas, especially imagine if we use divincing pieces to kind of surround the base so it sort of covers up the, the lamppost part and it can make it look like it's this beautiful crystal rose blooming out of rock or something. That would be so cool. I wonder if it... Oh, oh, oh my gosh, it sounded like it shattered into a million pieces, but it's okay. My poor heart. That would be really, really fun to put into our Arctic exhibits as well with these itty bitty little snow chickens. Oh my goodness, and I still have the bear that Luca left yesterday. All right, we've got pizza infused with oregano. Mm, that sounds delicious. A ton of amazing peach tea. E roses, roses. Oh my gosh, that is so fun. I need to start a rose garden and just like keep all of the roses that she gives us that's so beautiful and the delicious pizza one day one day we'll open up a pizza parlor together and spread it through the world and across many servers it'll be amazing all right so let's see anything else oh my gosh really Oh, Eros, ice cream too. Heyo, today is National Eat Ice Cream for Breakfast Day. Enjoy some yummy ice cream from Eros. Oh my gosh, I'm totally going to do that. This is so exciting. All right, let's see. Chocolate ice cream. We've got caramel ice cream. We've got vanilla ice cream, mocha ice cream, some beautiful garnet roses, and some mint chocolate chip ice cream infused with mint. Double mint chocolate chip ice cream. Now we're talking. Oh my gosh. And mochi. You guys, I'm so excited because when we go to Taiwan, there's going to finally be vegan mochi I can eat. And why are my puppies? Puppies! Puppies! Quick! Teleport to me! Quickly, guys! Okay! Okay, hang on. I have a raw fish. I have a raw fish. Tate, there you go. Lily, why? Lily, you need to tell mom when you're getting this hungry. Oh my gosh. Okay, Lily, sit for just a second. In fact, we're going to take you two over to the puppy play yard so you can hang out with the other puppies. This is how we can go from like on focus to distracted. Garden zombies and hungry puppies and Relic doing that weird ghost thing that he does now and then while throwing relics at me. Uh, one day our archaeologists are really going to love that. All right, come on, you two. Lily, come. Come on, Lily. There's lots of puppy beds over here. It'll make you feel better. Tate, of course you somehow got into some water between here and there. All right, and Relic, you're doing the weird ghost thing again. We're gonna have to address that one day. Lily girl, Lily girl, where's, come here, Lily girl. There's a puppy bed right over here. Come on, Lily. Ah, oh, she's really not feeling good. All right, let me see if I can grab her and put her into the puppy bed. It kind of reminds me of having grown up with a huge family. Whoops, sorry, Eros, there's your little note. Uh, it kind of reminds me of having grown up with a huge family. How, like, mom and dad would always be like, okay, kids, we're going to stay focused. Well, mostly my dad. My mom was terrible at focus. And dad would be like, we're going to stay focused and we're going to do this, this, and this today. And then we ended up just doing 18 other million things because, oh my gosh, I can't believe how quickly my bookshelves are being filled up. Because almost all of these bookshelves are notes and gifts from people. Isn't that amazing? Oh, that really is amazing. It reminds me of looking at my fan mail notes that people will send me. And I store all of them in binders so I can look at everything. And oh, oh, and there's another Christmas decoration. I'll go ahead and take that down. Even though it would be wonderful to have, let's see, have a chance to give Chips more kisses. All right, we'll put that mistletoe away and chips is my boyfriend by the way my beloved boyfriend best friend partner in life he's the one that i'm going to taiwan with and he's the reason we're going to taiwan well thank you for the root little hedgehog he is a chinese history professor so he's going to go for chinese immersion classes he's really good at chinese already but you can always polish off a language that's not like your second language so anyway <laughs> It reminds me, being in zoo crafting, of growing up with my huge family and the general chaos of it all, but all of the fantastic memories that you gain from, from just the randomness of it. All right, no more garden zombies for just a minute, and let's see what else we have hiding inside of my mailbox. Ah, what's this? More cake! I am going to have so many sweets and, and things to eat for a while. Hola from Alex. All right. Hiya. Long time no speak. Unfortunately, for a while, I've been really inactive on the server, but I'm going to be trying to make a comeback. So as a gift, here are some treats made from my own. What the heck? What the heck? What the heck? Why? Why? I beat at thee with the carrot. Why? Did somebody 
put something in my house? Is there, is there a grave somewhere? Benjamin! Benjamin! Alright, I'm gonna have to ask him about something. Did he stick a grave on the side of my house? Is there, is there a grave spawning zombies on the side of my home? What is this nonsense about? Alright, that's... <laughs> That's unusual. We're having garden zombies and mail party um, and also talking about moving to the jungle area for Taiwan But oh and now I have a zombie head. What is happening today? Who knows? Oh my gosh. So as a treat here are some gifts uh, here, As a gift here are some treats made from my own ingredients enjoy from Alex. Oh my gosh I wonder if he's the one who left behind that really cool sculpture cake All right cherry cheesecake and we have some delicious chocolate donuts. Oh, I didn't even know chocolate donuts were a thing we could do What the heck a doodle? What's the recipe for chocolate donuts? Just donuts in a chocolate bar. How many things can I can I make donuts into? Frosted donut, cinnamon sugar donut, powdered donut, chocolate donut, and jelly donut. We've made a few of those before, but I somehow I forgot chocolate donut. That sounds amazing, but again, <laughs> hey spoilers. There's lots and lots and lots of vegan bakeries in Taiwan. You guys are probably going to see tons of vlogs of me eating delicious vegan food there. But all right, if uh, the garden zombies will kindly not interrupt again, we can check out the last slot over here. What is this? Eros's birthday gifts to me? Oh my gosh, Eros. Hey, Asiri, happy birthday. Oh my gosh, she already filled up so much of the stuff in my inventory and what on earth? What on earth? So she brought green birthday cakes for me, which are just adorably cool. We have emerald roses, unidentified eggs from my oology research center. She's the one who put up the fairy lights and wild mushroom pizza. Oh my goodness. <laughs> This is so awesome, and I haven't even opened these last two things, and I know this one's from Santa, and I'm a little bit in trouble with that. I'm just going to take a peek in here, and we've got... Whoa, hang on. What? 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 Oh my gosh. If those are what I think they are, I'm going to totally freak out, and I'm going to have to go and just, like, tackle Pavo, and... And I... Oh my gosh. Okay, hang on. I need... I need hands. I need free hands. All the memories, the flashbacks of growing up as the eldest in my family where there was never enough, never enough hands to go around. <laughs> They're all coming back to me. Okay, quickly, quickly. All right, I've got to put away some of this food. So let's see. Um, I kind of have things sorted by pastry things go over here. So I have a ton of cake that would go down here and the cookies and the donuts would go over here. Mealy type things, uh, meaning like meals. Let's see. These are, oh wait, the cookies and cakes go over here. Help, help. Uh, I don't know why I have them in two places. <laughs> All right, so clearly I have cookies over here noted and then I've got cakes. So many cakes. I have way too many cakes and way too many cheesecakes. I need to start eating some of this stuff. I even have Yutsu mousse cake. Um, here's some donuts. I should probably just move all my donuts over here. And then I have, there we go. And then here's the ice that will actually make up my um, freezer. And I can put some of the, uh, da, 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 the ice cream in here. I have lots of different kinds of ice cream now because I have mint infused mint. So double mint, mint chocolate chip ice cream, which sounds amazing. And then mint chocolate chip ice cream. And then let's see, oh my gosh, I have so much stuff. I need to start eating more. I have my old baked beans. I should probably finish those and I'll have my pizza and I'll keep my peach tea and my banana smoothies. Um, and I want to keep my snowballs to feed to my little snow chickens that we need to give a special name. And I think I finally have some hands free. All right, so let's go over and we're going to just take a quick peek at what I think these bushes may be. And if they are what they are, like I think they are then this is kind of going to be a huge deal. Uh, chocolate chip bushes from Pavo. Hey, Asiri, I come bearing gifts. I assure you that despite these bushes looking a bit sickly, they are 100% edible. I assume they're also vegan as they are completely plant-based, but you probably know best. Anyway, happy spring from Pavo. What? <laughs> what? Okay, hang on. We're going to go up. We're, we have a, what's called a cookie bush. I'm not exactly sure what one does with a cookie bush. Also, why that one spot is so cold. Um, and then, oh, I still have my rallets running around. 
inside. Have they laid any eggs in that nest yet? Let's take a quick peek. All right, let's see. Well, they're both- <gasps> Look, 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 they've almost made it. Okay, hang in there, little guys. Hang in there. I'm gonna do my best. Okay, hang in there. You have a little nest. I'm just gonna- Oh my gosh, they have an egg! The relics have an egg! This has just turned out to be the most amazing day. Why do I drag my feet? All right, so here's cookie bushes. And over here, we have the clone cookie tree to celebrate episode 800 of Zoo Crafting. And that was when uh, my beloved Chips, uh, that's the nickname that he goes by, cloned himself. And suddenly I had a whole bunch of Chips running around my house and I didn't know which boyfriend to give a peck on the, the lips to. Um, but now I've got these cookie bushes. I'm not sure exactly what they do. So I'm going to go ahead and put them down. And then I think... I'm not sure, like edible, huh? So do I eat them? But I think what happens is they may grow cookies. They may actually, over time, grow cookies just like the cookie tree. And then you can pluck cookies off of them. But we're going to have to wait and see. We'll give it a little bit of time. But that's something that I talked about kind of jokingly with Pavo a long time ago. And I think he may have made it happen. So we're going to leave the cookie bushes um, and see if they manage to grow some cookies. But that's so exciting. Oh my gosh, where do I even be? again to give back to my amazing friends i just oh ah oh, this is why you should just follow through and do stuff but that's that's been a common theme for those of you who have been around with zoo crafting for a long time knowing that i say that all the time i often drag my feet and i get overwhelmed and a snail egg oh my goodness i get overwhelmed and then i won't show up because i feel so overwhelmed and i always end up regretting it because i always have a fantastic time uh what was it just show up like that's all you got to do that's that's uh, something that we started talking about in a big theme we started talking about ages ago and now we have cleared up the mail and I have also mentioned to you guys how I plan on um, spending quite a bit of time living in the jungle for Taiwan this summer. So I think that'll be fun. We can build kind of like a Swiss Family Robinson sort of house up in a tree. Uh, this is a tree house because its base is a gigantic tree in case you guys didn't know. If you come around the side... Okay, no more garden zombies. What was up with all of that nonsense? Garden zombies everywhere rude much but yeah if you look on the side you can see how this is actually based off of a tree like it's growing out of this gigantic tree right here not like the sacred oaks but an even bigger tree and the house is kind of sticking off the side of it but i'm thinking for our home within the jungles which is just like this jungle but on the other side of our home like this is the jungle i'm thinking about moving into for the summer and this is our jungle of myths and legends where we store dinosaurs where we store a lot of the mythological creatures like the cow plants where we might even start having at least some exhibits for our different varieties of mythical chicken and where we might let the phoenix roost. Uh, that would be really, really fun, actually. And then we've got our more, like, real-world animals that we store up in these exhibits over here for our zoo. But, um... Man, I'm well, and of course the dinosaurs we have in there are real, but they were extinct and now they are not. But I'm thinking for the treehouse in the jungle, we'll put it up in the top of the tree and we might keep it really small and compact and use a whole bunch of bridges to go between the different, uh, like the different levels of it. So that would be really fun. All right, I have no idea where those zombies were coming from. We have tidied up almost all of the gifts that we have gotten from our amazing friends, except for this last snowflakes. Those exist? Help needed from Alex. Dear whoever reaches this letter, this letter reaches, we are having trouble at the North Pole. Oh my heck. What do you mean? You're just going to show up like this, huh? What? Okay. We're having trouble at the North Pole, but Santa's going to have to wait because I'm having trouble straight up in my actual garden. That's a creeper. So I've got to deal with this plant creeper right here and figure out where everybody's coming from. I feel like I need to blame Ben, but I probably don't need to blame Ben. But I didn't see a gift from Ben, and that's something that Ben might consider a gift. So a little excitement, enrichment, as one might say. Hmm. All right. So I'm going to take care of this guy. I'm going to sort through some of the amazing gifts we have gotten and then we can figure out our next steps. I definitely want to give the black bear his new home and I would like to uh, at least you know, get a few things done in the safari zone. Maybe go on a nice expedition. 
before we really transition into summer at the beginning of June and when we'll transition into having a new home over in the jungle area. So I'm going to take care of this guy and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.